WRCT viewers and welcome to the Mayor's Merchant of the Month for the month of April 2013. I'm Aquina Washington, Community Relations Director for the City of York. I'm standing here at Miller Brothers Vacuum Cleaner Sales located at 357 West Philadelphia Street here in the historic city of York, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Charlie and David Miller of Miller Brothers Vacuum Cleaner Sales and we're going to learn about all of the great history that they have here in the city of York. So if you could share some of that rich history of your organization with our viewers. Well, this was established uh, as a vacuum cleaner uh, sales in 1928. Uh, it was originally called Vacuet Sales Company after the uh, Scotts and Fester uh, Kirby vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. And uh, that uh, gentleman's name was... Uh, <laughs> Ed Stump. Ed Stump. I can't yeah. mm -hmm. Ed Stump. And my dad would frequent this place when he was an Electrolux salesman. Mm -hmm. So he decided to get out of the Electrolux door-to-door -door business, and uh, he bought this yeah. business from uh, Ed Stump's estate. Mm -hmm. And he established this in 1956. Uh, and then Dave and I both worked for Dad, and we were in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, it came time for Dad to retire, and we took over the business in 1971. So we, this is our 42nd year as Miller Brothers Vacuet Sales. Great, great. So we've uh, we've been around for a while, and uh, we've we've we're now servicing uh, probably the third generation in the same family of wow. customers. That's fantastic. So I've I remember uh, people coming in years ago, and now their grandchildren mm -hmm. are coming here with their mm -hmm. vacuum cleaner. So it's. Uh, and our customers become our friends, and we get to know the family. So it's a nice, uh, it's a nice situation. Yeah, it's just yeah. that is. And we've we want to locate. Uh, we thought about relocating several times, but this, the the city of York is the center of York County. Yes. And it is the center from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So why relocate when this is the center of all the commerce? Right. So stay here, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And if you could just uh, share with us a little bit about all the services that Miller Brothers has to offer our community. Okay, uh, Dave, my brother, he runs the he runs the stores. Uh, we have two stores. We have one in Shiloh, which we opened at a later date, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we service uh, sales and service of really all kinds of vacuum cleaners. Okay. And they've changed over the years, like a lot of other things have, and they've right. they've they've gone to a solid state and computerized and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the old days of uh, knuckle busting wrench and screwdriver, those days are over. Now everything snaps together and everything is a solid state. So things have changed in that respect. Of course, we had to have our uh, mechanics uh, schooled and updated on all the changes in vacuum cleaners. So it's uh, it's a challenge, but what isn't, right? Right. If you want to keep doing what you're doing you and go. you love it. <laughs> so. there you go. That's important. Yeah, yeah it's important, yeah. <laughs> And if uh, community members are interested in learning more about Miller's Brother Vacuum Cleaner Sales, how can they learn more about you? Well, we do have a website, Okay. Uh, www.millervac.com. All right. And there you'll see a lovely picture of Dave and I. <laughs> 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 and uh, it'll give you a, a little bit of an insight as to, uh, uh, and, it, and we have some links on there with our uh, companies that we do business with. Okay. Or they can always stop in. Oh, and say hi. That's right? the best way, Yeah, right? that's the best way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, and congratulations again, and thank you so much for your service to the city of York. Yeah, well, it's been an honor. Yeah. Thank you. All yeah. right, here we are in our showroom where we show all of our new vacuums. We have canisters, uprights, uh, small canisters, uh, shampooers, and then over here we have belts for just about any vacuum cleaner you can think of. And here we have supplies, uh, shampoo supplies. And here's a rack of all the vacuum cleaner bags on the market. You name it, we have it. There's not a bag, a vacuum we don't have bags for. And then in here is all of our repair jobs. We do about 50 repairs a week. And um, back here's our counter. And then uh, we can go back through the, to the repair shop. All these vacuum cleaners need to be repaired. We seem to be doing a lot of Dysons right now. And then here's the repair shop. This is Tyler, one of our repair guys, working on a, on a repair. As you can see, it don't take many, many tools. And then everything's organized in containers, all of our parts, and uh, all of our small parts. So we, we have lots of 
a lot of parts here. And then uh, here's uh, Dwayne, our top mechanic. There's not a vacuum cleaner he can't repair. He specializes in Dysons. <laughs> we have another division, uh, Central Vac Division. I run that. And what that consists of, uh, we, uh, we go out and we, we put it built-in central vacs in new homes with uh, working through with the contractor and we also do existing homes. homes and a lot of people think they can't have central vacs put in their existing home but it can be done and we're, and we're good at it. This is the central vac unit and these are accessories and you, you have your central vac valve situated through your house. You have a 30-foot hose and that's how you do your vacuuming and then the exhausted vent at the outside so you have very little noise and all your all of your pollutants and all the things that make you cough and sneeze, all that's being purged out of your house and going outside. And with the popularity of dogs and cats and all the animals in the house, a lot of people are coughing and sneezing and don't know why, and it really is coming out of the exhaust of the regular vacuum cleaners. With a central vac, you have no exhaust coming into your home. So they're very, uh, they're very friendly to your family for anybody who has any kind of a breathing problem. And they're very affordable, by the way. You could. Uh, Probably one central vac system wouldn't cost any more than three or four regular vacuum cleaners, and it's probably the last vacuum cleaner you ever buy. This is Lucy, our mascot. How about it, Lucy? Oh, yeah, you're a friendly dog, aren't you? Little girl, she's about 20 months old. Does she know how to fix vacuum cleaners yet? Not yet, but she, she's not afraid of them. That's good. She greets all of her customers. She, she's the first one out here. Aren't you, Lucy? Yeah. So if people want to meet Lucy, they should come on over, huh? Yeah. Oh, Lucy. <laughs> yeah. And what's your address again here? 357 West Philadelphia Street. We do business at a lot of schools and a lot of churches. <clears throat> okay. We do a lot of churches. We give churches 10% off on everything. Okay. Oh, man. I think I know that. We've been, yeah. been doing that for years. Okay, alrighty, good. How long have you, you've, you've lived in the city all your life? I'm a native of York. Yeah, so yeah, you, you know this vacuum cleaner shop was here for a long time. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah she came in and bought a, a vacuum cleaner. See, he remembers. I remember. Yeah. I even waited on you. That's how this started. That's yeah. right. I yeah. was like, uh, yeah. okay. well, we actually because he knew, started giving me the history then, and I thought, well, no actually, knew you way back from high school That's too. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. went to school together. But you high. graduated before me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're a lot younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Like 10 years. I just want to make sure. The way he's, got to, <laughs> he's got to drill down. Okay. All right. But he just. He just stole my speech because mm -hmm. that was it. That's what started it for me. And I was like, wait, we have a great business like this yep. in the city of yep. York. As long as they've been, they can be anywhere that they want to be. And they continue yep. to be yep. here. Yeah, look how young we were up there so, standing there with dad. Exactly. So he showed me all the pictures. Mm -hmm. I think there was an article from the one of the papers. Yeah, the newspaper yeah. right there. The highlighted yeah. you as well. Yeah. And then he sold me a vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and it's I needed it. Tradition. Obviously. I needed it yeah. and it still yeah. works. If I need Good. anything more, I can come back in yeah. here. We'll but fix it was, you up. Thank you very much, sir. Good to hear. Um, there's more people. Charlie talk about their relationship with the schools, the churches mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of great things. So we sincerely appreciate you keeping your business here in the city. It's centrally located. It's the center of the commerce in your county. He's not complained about parking. He didn't complain about parking at yeah. least when I came in or anything. You know, people will find you. That's if right. If you're good, they'll find you. So City Councilman Henry Nixon, did you hear that, sir? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, nobody, I mean, Henry. they have a great business Henry, here. We want, we want three more Henry. learning zones, yeah. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> not complaining about parking. Part of the family. So we have <clears throat> sisters, brothers, sisters, they're still there. Brenda, yes, another yeah. yes. customers, ten customers, tenants, and friends. Lucy, and Lucy. So we've got the mascot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give me buddy. And uh, our <laughs> community economic development director, and again, Councilman Nixon, <laughs> and uh, uh, president or chairman. And our mascot. Uh, president, I think. Lucy. President uh, of yeah. Downtown 8 today to congratulate you all for being our merchant of the month for april 2013. we've been doing this for a little while since i've been in office i guess yep. and yep. we're honored when we're able to come to a business like this and then to do business with great people too <laughs> so this certificate is awarded by me and downtown inc to miller brothers vacuum cleaner sales on today and thanking you for again choosing to have your business in the city of York and uh, many more happy years. I'm glad to know we're already 
prepping the next generation. That's great stuff. And I'm going to turn it over to yeah. Gary on that. Yeah, I can only echo uh, what the mayor has said. I mean, it's tremendous to have you guys downtown. I know they were they were looking at moving out at yeah. one point and decided that this is the place for them. I think it's awesome. They're coming up on 90 years in this particular yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations guys and really, really appreciate you guys and your devotion to downtown. It's tremendous, tremendous. And this is the this is the certificate uh, from the mayor's office. We're honored with the certificate and we're honored with your presence. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So proud. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Right. Thank you. Good stuff. Begin. Right. Right. Vacnuts Dave and Charlie Miller, a Miller Brothers Vacuum Cleaner Hospital, have vast knowledge of vacuum cleaners and why they so often fail. Here's your vacuum cleaner doctor, Charlie Miller. Would you ask an attorney to neuter your dog or consult a veterinarian for legal advice? Probably not. So why not give your house cleaning the importance it deserves and speak to a professional about vacuum cleaners? Call Miller Brothers in York at 854-6111 and talk with a vacuum cleaner expert. Vacuum cleaner doctors, they'll tell you what to do. Miller Brothers.